Morning guys, this is Eugene the Compton Gardener. I'm out here in my uh, backyard orchard looking at my sugarcane jujube. And something I've been noticing interesting for the past uh, three years of growing jujubes is the pollinators. Now, occasionally you'll get a bee, of a, a honeybee over here pollinizing, but for the most part, what I've noticed is an unlikely pollinizer. They do pretty good. Flies. I don't know what it is about the plant that attract flies. I'm not even sure if these are like your average, ordinary, everyday house fly. But there are flies, as you can see. And they just walk across each flower. I think that's how they pollinize it up. There's one up there. See that little guy right there? Yep. Just doing their thing. There's about seven flies right now. See? More flies. And they just come out here in the morning and do their thing once they, you know, warm up a little bit. It's still a little cold out here, but I guess their wings are already okay like i said i'm not sure if these are regular house flies but they're flies they look like a house fly a little bit of gold on the back or something um so i don't mind them out here pollinizing my jujube as long as they don't come in the house then you know i gotta do what i gotta do but outside i have free range flies Anyway, just wanted to show y'all. It's kind of funny though. I think flies as a pollinator. Or pollinator, sorry. But they're here. So I'm gonna go back inside, get ready for work, and let these flies do what they do. This jujube is probably about mm, nine feet right now. That's about as big as I want it to grow. So you can see how many flowers is on one stem here. Some of them will fall off, ones that don't get pollinated. But look at that full bloom. All of those flowers. It looks a lot different from what you see in the, uh, the nursery pots. The nursery pot is like one stick. It had a couple side branches few flowers once I put these bad boys in the ground mm. this right here is only second year right here let me show you what it looked like before because I just got this one I'm gonna have to get rid of this branch here because I'm kind of shading out my GA866 right here but this one right here you can see it got a good amount of growth as well when I got it from 4winsgrower.com, it was just this little stick with these branches here. As you can see, all the growth that's coming off already. And this has only been uh, two months in the ground, so it's waking up now. So I have them side by side there. So all I gotta do is just basically make sure this half of the tree is not growing over into his space. But in the meantime, while this one is still growing out, I will still let this one do its thing for this season, get the fruit off of it, and then when it goes dormant, I'm gonna shape them back into their place and allow for the 866 to have its own space, which is a later variety. See, flowers are just opening up on this one, whereas this one is in full bloom. What's going on, son? It's my son coming up while I'm recording, but I just got him some bunnies yesterday, so they're pretty excited. What's going on? Food? Yeah. Just a little bit in there. Anyway, let me get back to helping them change out the, uh, the rabbit litter. Just wanted to show y'all the 
pollinators for the jujube. So not all flies are bad flies, as long as they're helping you, benefiting you. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good one.